All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're just going to wait a couple minutes until everyone gets here. I just like to get started and test, make sure. Yeah, my mouse is showing up. I want to make sure all the right stuff is showing up. So we'll chat for a minute and then we're going to get started on freestanding lace the easy way. You guys are just going to love this. Hi, Robin. Hi, Misha. Hello. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Who else is here? Cindy King. Hey, Cindy King. Cherry Sours. Mmm, that sounds good, Cindy King. Cindy King loves her candy. It's awesome. Hi, Rose from Meridian, Idaho. Hello. Uh, we have a beautiful sunny day today. It's just lovely. Um, I've been inside digitizing and doing production, but you know, I'm going to go out after. Karina, hello. Suzanne, hello. Chris Yost, hi. Judy Quilt, <laughs> once again in the car heading to handbell rehearsal. Hi, all. Oh, Judy, you're going to love this. I think everyone's going to love this. I, I think it is one of the best things to happen to embroidery for a long time for a long time. It's a whole lot of fun. So another minute for everyone to get there and then we can get started. Marianne. Hello, Marianne. Hello, everyone, she said. Hello. Hello, hello. So everything's good. You guys can hear me, obviously. You can see my mouse. We're good on that. We should be fun. Hi, Jesse. Misha says, hello, Karina and Judy. <laughs> and hi everyone yep great bunch so this is in embrilliance oh vivian hello vivian um and even if you don't have in brilliance or you don't want to get in brilliance just seeing this demo will inspire you so uh it's kind of awesome now if you're looking for this specific part it's an add-on so it's an add-on to Embrilliance. So there's a link in the description that'll get you right to this page. And um, it, it's really cool. So, yep, four o'clock, let's get started on this. So it is, they're calling it, Embrilliance is calling it uh, uh, interactive embroidery. And I was intrigued when I saw that. What do you mean interactive? It's always interactive when you're digitizing, but they kind of kicked it up a notch. So snowflakes, this is a free standing um, reindeer and you get all of them. And Santa sleigh, there's these ornament covers and this really cute lettering, really cute freestanding lace awesome yes everyone thank you misha everyone click the thumbs up it really helps out the channel so watch to the end and thumbs up and that is really helpful so awesome so interactive designs and more for the embrilliance platform so i wanted to show you guys this area uh, just so you can see what you can do i guess we'll do it that way so you can actually see um, these are beautiful. I can't wait to do it. Look at the ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Uh, snowflakes. Yes, please. Uh, you can make them with 12 points or six points. This one here is smaller, uh, which is cool. Let me just go down here. Ornament covers. I mean, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? nice gold thread. I would only use King Star, but this is a beautiful setup here. So many things you can do with it. Now look at this. This is that lettering I was telling you about. Isn't that cool? So it's on sale right now for uh, until May 14th. So uh, it's really cool. It's really cool. So there's lots of videos that they have to show you the basics, but I'm going to show you my way um, and how to do the reindeer. We're going to go through all of that today. Look at this. Isn't that great? So there's a lot of information to help you. This is included too. So hi, Joyce. 
there's there's a lot with it and it's uh pretty cool so let's look at a snowflake so normally when i create a snowflake i would create the pieces and then multiply them and then work on all the connections and then do the next piece that sort of thing changing with the colors let's go to file and let's go to new page and i'm going to show you this and everybody sit down this is quite shocking so you go up to here where you have all your shapes that's one thing i love about in brilliance is all the shapes and this is where the AccuQuilt add-on is and i love it so just making sure the pop-up has popped up has it popped up just wait we're running a bit behind i just want to make sure and here's all the things that comes in uh with this christmas traditions now if you open it up and you're not in it you can just use this uh drop down menu here and you could see i have all my AccuQuilt in there because i just love it and the outlines um but i do want the christmas one so i'm not that's where you find it that's easy we are going to start with snowflake and uh so you call it up and wow okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is play around with colors uh one of the things i love to play around with is the variegated thread colors they kind of show up pretty darn cool uh there's you know regular thread colors too so whatever colors or one color whatever you want on that i'm gonna leave this because i think it looks cool it just gives you an idea of um, what it can do so right there the first one that comes up that looks really good but if we go over here on the right right here to interactive uh, this is where the magic happens now before I show you what it does I'm going to talk about the options so you can do freestanding lace or lace on fabric what's the difference freestanding lace has all those extra stitches so it holds together so the fabric one will not hold together and you're meant to stitch it on fabric so then you can do 12 points or six points this is a six point uh, just kind of half of it that's fine you can do the parts you can do the parts the hub which is the center part the spoke which is one of these like on a wheel and uh spoke one and spoke two so there's two different ones and then i'm going to show you guys all of these they are completely customizable so the most fun you can have is make a random snowflake so you can flip flip through oh i love that one I like this part especially um so far i i was like wow okay so make a snowflake that you like stitch it out and uh freestanding make sure your freestanding is on isn't that one beautiful too let's uh i'm gonna go over to the tab here i'm gonna change the color to something a little more simple because i don't know why just because it'll look better there we go now we can see it better now there's a little bit of overlap here um but it's it's good everything will hold together so there we go interactive so look at all this so you could just sit and flip through and find one that you like they are all amazing I'm gonna use this one I actually really like this one Ooh. so 12 points a snowflake now you can make changes so hub if you remember was in the middle and you click on it and you get this little uh, slider I guess and it it'll cycle through all the different hubs now you notice that everything is changing moving a little bit around the hub but that's fine it's doing it all for you no work for you Ooh, that one's pretty i'm gonna leave it on that the next one is the percent so hub percent and that means the size so look if you make the hub bigger 
I think that looks even better. I love it. So mid one, mid two, tip one, tip two. So one of these is number one and it's the mid section and the tip. So what can you do with that? Uh, you guys won't believe this. So mid one, so it is the purple. So the middle part of one changes and it's gonna cycle through all the different changes and really it's as easy as this. I can see it's got the right underlay. Oh, look at that. See, that changes everything. I can leave that one. Um, changes everything with it, uh, changes the look. I, I could probably play with this all day. So let's go to the middle two, mid two, and do the same thing. Ooh, ooh, that just got better like that. Ooh, ooh, that's better. Yeah, I've been doing this for a couple of days, so um, I, I, oh, there we go. That's the one I like. That catches my attention. Look at the detail and everything. Isn't that cool? So tip one, remember the purple is the tip. Uh, sorry, the purple is one. The other one is two. So let's go to tip two and see what it, or one, sorry. Now, look, we can change not the middle part, the ends. So, ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I like it. I like it. But see how easy it is? You can just go through it and pick one that you like. I think I'm going to stick with that one. I really like it. Now, tip two is the white one. And, ooh, oh yeah, we could fill it in. Now, let me ask you guys, could you not play with this all day? Because I could. There we go. I like that one. So that is a completely original, 100% awesome snowflake. And because it's native, you can change the size of it, which is really cool. Uh, it had to think about it to rearrange everything that was the hesitation. Um, don't make it too small because then it'll be, you know, kind of like a, a, a hockey puck, we'd call it in Canada. I don't know what you guys would call it everywhere else. Really thick. So you do have to be careful of that. You can go up here and check the density. So see all the red in there? Those are the dense parts. And if I make it as big as it was, then we can check the density again, just to make sure we're not going too small. It's about the same, but less of it. So it's kind of cool. I like this. I like this view. I probably wouldn't use it too much, but you know, uh, Robin says, this looks like a lot of fun. And yes, you can put organza or tool around it. Um, this would be kind of difficult to do because it has all these open spaces. So you wouldn't really want to trim down everything. But because there's a choice, you can do it freestanding or not. So to get back to where I was, now I have nothing selected. You're going to select the snowflake or whatever you're working on, and you go to the interactive um, thing, and then you can keep playing around with it. So let's go to fabric, and it changes, but not a whole lot. The design is still the same, but there's a lot less stitches in it. So that's that's the only thing, you know, that is different. So make sure if you're doing freestanding that you click on the freestanding. So what is the rest of this for? Okay, let's do six points. Now, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Now you can do all the adjustments again that you want and play around with it like this, which is really cool. So I'm working on the hub. Uh, I really like that one. It's more like a spoke. And then you can change the middle and you can change the top. So completely customizable. Isn't that awesome? I'm, I love snowflakes. I think this is the best, absolutely the best. 
So I'm just changing the middle part. There we go. And you can play around with it, change everything. There we go. So the other choices we have, hub, spoke one, and spoke two. So again, like I said, the hub is the middle. But say you wanted to make a bigger, if you only had like a, not only, I don't mean that. If you had a five by seven hoop and not any larger, then you can make your own pieces. So you would make the hub and as always, you can play around with sizes and, you know, just use the hub slider and you can change it. And that would be one design and then you'd save it and then go to spoke one. So remember that was the one sticking straight up and then make it how you want and how large you want. And you could just put it all together in the hoop. So isn't that cool? That is only one part of it. That is only the um, uh, snowflake design. It, it really does get better. I am going to put the 12 point back and I'm gonna go to snowflake and just because I love it. These are the default colors, which are pretty. I like it. Um, uh, I like it, I like it. So let's go to file, new page, and we're gonna go back up to the library up at the top here and and so ornament cover is basically the same thing. We can take a little quick look at it. Uh, they're made a little bit differently. So you'd have to get the right size. I don't know if it comes in at the correct size, but you just have to try it and, and measure it out. But it is the same thing. Make a random cover. Oh, these are so pretty. They're just set up a little bit differently. And yes, you can use these as a snowflake. Oh, I like that one. I'm going to leave that. So top and bottom. That's really cool. So depending on which way you want to do it. So right there, ball diameter. And you can change the diameter of the ball. And it automatically changes the design to go with it. So I love these sliders. It's awesome. If you get stuck, then you can go to show me how and you get a little tutorial on it. Just what's on the website. So hub diameter. So the hub is the middle. And because it's going over an ornament, if you make this too small, it's not going to work, right? Um, so you want to make sure you know the size and basically when you buy a pack of ornaments, just like a single color, um, they'll all be the same. So once you do it once, then you can. So design it. I love this. It says less fun. Ha! <laughs> well, still fun, but maybe less fun than doing it randomly. So it's the same thing, doing the middle, changing it. Oh, I love it. I like that one. And tip one. There we go. I like that open one. Hmm. And tip two, which is, oh, isn't that cool? Yeah, play with it all day. I could, I could. Uh, Don said, what are you, what are you buying in Embrilliance? And I said, oh, I'll have to show you because it's too hard to explain what this does, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> and I showed him and he went, wow, wow. So then this part here is make all hub spoke one, spoke two, depending on what size you're doing, of course. And then to put them together, you just have to, you know, give it a quick little sewing. Um, easy. I'm sure there's a better explanation. You don't want to do huge freestanding lace though, I'm saying, because there's uh, a lot of stitches in it. So yeah. So uh, these are absolutely beautiful. I love the snowflake that click on it. There we go. Go to the interactive, just pushing the buttons. Oh, that one's nice too. You could design, 
and this is designing you could design your own snowflakes and decorate your tree um not a brat says i use my lace maker from dime to make fsl i absolutely um do too but this is an awesome way to make specifically snowflakes so and it's just quick and easy and oh i like that one and i have embroilians so it was just a little add-on to it so okay let's uh go to a new page let's go up to our library and this is the pieces for the 3d um the 3d sleigh reindeer so let's look at this one this is actually really cool i'm not going to play around with colors because frankly they're just about right i'm going to zoom right in and you can see so you can drop down dasher dancer prancer vixen comet cubit donner blitzen so you can pick one or all of them <laughs> you just have to do them separately and it, this is amazing over on embrilliance.com they show you how to put everything together but this is how you can design it so the first thing we can change is the size so you can make it bigger and smaller and if you notice everything is changing so you don't have to worry about anything uh look up or down i was like what the heck but look you can move the head up or down i mean yeah so you can position it how you want now there's more to not a brat says that's cool it is kind of cool so let's put rudolph i think his nose should be up a little bit there we go so you save it and uh you know make a stitch file so you can do it but no we're not done yet um it's pretty cool <laughs> body left so let me zoom back this is the left side of the body so you have to obviously do left and right sides right let's get it in the middle there so uh change the size to what you had it before i love the little designs in it oh so body left body right which is awesome isn't that pretty and then you can go to head left and if you notice it matches i did head right it automatically matches what i did because remember i turned his nose up a little bit so you don't even have to worry about that so this is the scarf so this goes around the front of the reindeer to help hold it together and then if you want to add antlers you can do that too is that cool that's cool so you can make freestanding lace standing it would take a while but you could do all of the reindeer uh, but let's take a look at the sleigh so i'm gonna go back up to here everything's all in one spot so let's bring out the sleigh and check this out so i selected it press ok look at the detail in this thing isn't that neat now you can make some changes of course you can so you can change the size right here so if you wanted to make a bit of a smaller one again being very careful about how close the stitches are in general terms when you're doing embroidery um you can 20 percent you can make it smaller the smaller you make something the less detail you can have in it i did notice right here it only allows you to go 75 percent which is brilliant because i think it would be a hockey puck if you had to do more so let's put it back at the hundred i think that's awesome and you can keep the candy canes in or take them out and then it's just the gold which is nice or you can add eyelets so all of the um holly turns into little eyelets or you can do both 
I love candy canes, so I think that's awesome. I can't wait to stitch this out. And I'm talking King Star Gold, King Star Red, and King Star Silver, and a little bit of King Star Green, because I think Santa's sleigh can be all bling. So I'm I'm gonna be doing that. So we have the left side, the right side, which will have all the things that we want. Eyelets, no eyelets. I kind of like it without the eyelets, but you know. And then the sleigh bed. And this is how you're gonna put the sides together. And these are like little dots and you put it through the loops. And I think that's a really easy way of doing it as well. And again, the instructions are on the website. You see these little, you know, look like staples. That's where you're gonna pull the little um, piece through. So it's easy to do and everything will match up. Obviously you want to dry, uh, wash out and dry your lace and make sure it's completely dry. You can iron it to make it flat, but be very careful because the um, thread will melt. So you don't wanna go through all this time um, to have your thread melted and look like crap. So there you go. And uh, I really think it's a whole lot of fun. You could change the colors just a little bit to play with. So I really love the Santa sleigh. I really love the reindeers. I can picture it over our fireplace. Um, I think it's awesome. And uh, snowflakes, I mean, can you ever have enough snowflakes? Um, that'll be a cool stitch out you'll have to show us, Sue. Yeah, I think it'll take me to Christmas to stitch it out, but yes, for sure. I think it's uh, the end result is going to be amazing. Maybe I'll get my uh, 10 needle going on it and it can just uh, stitch it. I, the only time I ever turn my speed down is because I don't want to hear it. So I turn it down. And it's a little bit quieter, but I will be doing it. Now, my lace maker in dime is fantastic. This is fantastic for making the snowflakes and, of course, for making um, the sleigh. That would take a long time. Is this a good design for metallic thread? Um, any design is a good design for Kingstar Metallic. I'm not going to say anything about any other kind of um, metallic thread. It usually sucks and it's usually different, difficult and you have to, you know, make sure it unwinds and everything. With Kingstar Metallic, you can wind the bobbin with metallic thread. Um, which is what you need to do for just about all of this. It's never too early for Christmas. Yes, I know. I'm going to start calling my 10 needle the lace machine because I've been creating a whole lot of lace too. Uh, but I will be stitching out some of these and, you know, I might get working on the other one. I made 250 FSL snowflakes for my mom's tree a few, few years ago. She loved them. Yeah, it's just beautiful. They look um, store-bought, especially when you use the metallic. Will it work on a Janome? It'll work. This is in Brilliance, and in Brilliance um, works for any machine. You just save the working file and send over the stitch files. So depending on what size hoop you have, you can uh, create your own snowflakes. So it's easy. So what I wanted to show you guys in this demo is how easy this is to create snowflakes. Um, I love it. I thought this was so much fun. Dawn was impressed. Um, again, I use my, um, I only use Kingstar. I know, right? Um, you don't have to change anything with Kingstar. It's just regular thread. 
And I'm telling you guys, it's the most glorious thing to be able to bling stuff up and not have such a headache. You don't have to change the needle. You don't have to, you know, use the thread and unwind it in the cup over the other side of the room. You don't have to watch it like a hawk. You don't have to do anything. And when I wound the King Star in the bobbin and stitched out an FSL, it was a snowflake flake in as, a mat, uh, as a matter of fact, and it stitched out beautifully, I was like, yep, now I've done all the experiments. I've tested it for two weeks and I give it Sue's official two thumbs up. So I'm thinking, you know, lots of different snowflakes three, um, sorry, FSL is got to be the best thing. I'm right into it. I'm creating my own. Um, obviously I won't be doing creating snowflakes cause these are awesome. So, uh, I will stitch a few of these out, but there's a lot more I can create in FSL. So, which is cool. Do you guys have any questions? This is one of the things that I've discovered and it was just too good to keep to myself. So I wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, even if you don't have Imbrillion's, um, it's really cool to see and to know what's out there. So to keep up with everything. So it's kind of awesome, but, uh, yeah, I think I'll be uh, stitching out a sleigh and a couple of the uh, reindeer for sure. I'm addicted to FSL. I know, I know, it's awesome. I am pushing all of the limits of FSL and the ones that I've been creating. So it's kind of um, Battenberg lace tatting kind of variations and I'm having so much fun with it. So you know, um, it's easy. That's what I was going for in this. If you, you know, need a quick Christmas present, like to pop in a card or something, there you go. This is what you do. So if you have it, use it. If you don't, then there's other ways of creating it. So any questions? Do you guys have any questions? I'm going to select it and I am going to go to interactive and I'm just going to flip through a little. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. Tell me what you guys think um, because I thought this was really cool. Huge time saver. I don't have to sort. Oh, I like that one too. I don't have to sort out all the colors. I love the random that you can just do some. Oh, I like that too. I like this kind of wavy part. It's awesome. I especially love Sonia Showalter FSL jewelry. Um, anything by Sonia is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'll agree. I like it a lot. I love making snowflakes. There's something mesmerizing about making snowflakes. And I think, ooh, I like that one too. I think random like this is amazing. And I honestly flipped through literally everything when I first got this add-on. Um, and I just, oh, wow, look at that. I just pick out the ones that I love. So Chris Yo says I have it. It's so fun to play with. I'm going to agree. Oh, I like that one. So it's the same tip, same tip part, and but a different mid part. So if you really like this one, then you can change the hub. Like if you want to change it a little bit to kind of go with it a bit more. See, I kind of like that. I think that's kind of neat. So, oh, that one's it. That one's it. I love snowflakes too. I've never done FSL. Got to try it. <gasps> yes, Rose, if you haven't stitched out any FSL, you really want to. It's amazing. Now, you guys remember Arlen. Um, I got her to do some FSL because she was, you know, just doing her mug rugs, doing her thing on her Mickey machine. She was just happy with that. 
she loves doing FSL. She said that is the best. And she hangs them in her window. She's made some tea lights um, that I created. It's a lot of fun. There we go, Lynn saying that. I just recently tried FSL and it's a lot of fun. I actually made her a pink metallic kind of tatting style hippo. And I, I wound the metallic, King Star metallic thread in the bobbin and it's super cute. She was like, wow. I'm like, yeah, metallic thread, baby. It's good for everything. And plus pink, you know, pink, that works. Um, so do you guys have any questions on how this works and what you need and how to do it? Select and it's pretty easy. Halloween FSL. Yes, I can't wait to start doing that. I haven't yet. I've been doing, you know, bookmarks and I did the filet crochet um, style ones, which took a while to learn. And then the old style, um, you know, kind of tatting or Battenberg lace, little color play in there. But yeah, once I hit Halloween stuff, all my Halloween dreams will come true. I can't wait to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, please, and share with your friends because if they love FSL as much as I do and they don't want to learn how to digitize, uh, FSL because believe me, it takes a very long, very, very long time to learn it and get it right, to get it at this level, then this is the add-on for you guys. In the meantime, oh, Phil, Phil, this is a good one. Do you recommend doing multiple FSL designs in the hoop or just one at a time? One at a time. Now, why? because there are a lot of stitches in it and you are going to have pulling. So if you stitch out one of these snowflakes and it's pulled the WSS in, then the next one's going to be out of registration and there's a good chance that it is going to uh, rip and you'll make a mess. So tomorrow, I've written a blog, it's going to come out tomorrow, about exactly that and the fact the the reasons why but you need to um you need to uh use the smallest hoop that your design will fit in and only use one i am not one for rules i love to break the embroidery rules and stitch outside the box but fsl you have to stick to the rules for that because it is not going to work at all. So good question. Thank you. Um, someone asked if there, what's the biggest size you could make this? Well, these are native files, so you could make them as big as you want. Generally, FSL is on the smaller size because you could be stitching it for hours. Um, you know, just there's a lot of stitches in this and I don't think it would look as nice being huge. Now, if you really want something large, then you can pick the fabric option and stitch it onto something. So you could make it fit into your biggest hoop and you could stitch it. It would look the same, but it's just meant to go on fabric. So I hope you guys like this demo. Um, if you have Embrilliance, check it out. You can play around with it. I'm going to be stitching out a lot more lace because I think it would be really nice. Misha, that would make a pretty tree topper with lights in it. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, my mind just went like, woo, crazy of things that I can do with these snowflakes and, you know, match the colors. In this room that I'm in, my studio, we have snowflakes hanging from the ceiling year round because, you know, why not? You're welcome, Cindy King. I know you love to check out the new stuff and keep up. And that's part of my job is to 
uh, check out stuff for you guys and, you know, make sure everything works. And this is just brilliant. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope I didn't play with the <laughs> snowflakes too much, but I could play all day with it. And uh, it's good to keep up with new things that are going on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Don't forget to read my blog tomorrow too.